Every time something happens, energy is used. Running, playing sports, turning the lights on, watching a video, cooking. These are all things that take energy. But since we use so much energy on a daily basis, we're quickly running out of viable ways to make it. To understand why, we first have to look at the main ways we get energy right now. Three sources dominate. Coal, oil and natural gas. Coal and oil are simple to understand. We dig coal out of the ground, set it on fire and use the steam it makes to generate energy. Oil is not that different. While coal and oil are cheap and simple, they create lots of pollution. When they burn, they release things called greenhouse gases. These include things you've definitely heard about. Carbon dioxide and methane are the most dangerous of the lot. Natural gas, on the other hand, is a bit better. This is a mixture of gases that comes out of the ground, so we have to drill for it. It's used much in the same way as coal and oil. We burn it, and it makes energy. But unlike coal and oil, natural gas is cleaner and produces fewer greenhouse gases. The problem with these three is they'll run out one day. Coal, oil and natural gas are called fossil fuels because they come from trees and animals that died millions of years ago. After they got buried, these living beings slowly turned into fuel. In simple terms, one of the reasons you can watch this video right now is that we're burning dinosaurs. But for those of you who don't want to set ancient animals on fire, there's another much better option. Renewable and clean energy. You've already heard of the most famous types. The wind, the sun and the world's rivers are the most promising and the most widespread kinds of renewable clean energy out there. Then what makes energy renewable? And what makes it clean? Renewable just means we won't run out of it. The sun will keep shining for at least another 4 billion years. The wind will keep blowing as long as the sun is shining. Rivers will keep flowing, lakes will keep filling up. But there are other kinds of renewable energy that are less conventional. Biomass is basically all the waste that comes when we make food, raise animals or chop wood. Because of how much waste we produce, this is basically a never-ending resource. And then there's the issue of clean energy. Clean energy doesn't just mean that somebody scrubbed a lump of coal with soap. Instead, it means that the process by which the energy is made doesn't create lots of greenhouse gases, and it doesn't pollute. Most types of renewable energy are also clean. There are concerns about certain kinds of renewable energy though. Hydro energy, that's the type that comes from water, can pollute rivers and make river ecosystems unlivable. Biomass still makes greenhouse gases. That's where one of the cleanest and most powerful sources of energy comes in, nuclear. Nuclear energy is based on complex scientific principles, but in the shortest terms possible, it makes poisonous rocks go boom boom. These controlled nuclear reactions produce massive amounts of energy without making any greenhouse gases in the process. But of course, the only problem with making incredibly powerful rocks explode is Just joking, of course, nuclear energy is actually one of our safest and most effective means of making electricity. The only problem is, it's too expensive. And finally, what makes energy affordable? As I just said, certain kinds of energy are too expensive to be useful. This is where the cheapest forms of fuel come back into play. Coal, oil and natural gas are the cheapest. The only problem is, we'll run out of them one day. Oh, and they're destroying the environment? For people in regions without affordable electricity, especially Central Africa, the Amazon, and rural India and Southeast Asia, a combination of natural gas and renewables seems to be the best answer. The great deserts of Africa are perfect for solar energy. There are other types of energy that rarely anyone talks about. Geothermal energy, for instance, uses water deep below the Earth's surface to generate electricity. 
This mortar, which has been heated to hundreds of degrees, bursts to the ground and is then used to drive turbines, which make electricity. Fusion energy is something straight out of science fiction. Quite literally. We're still not 100% sure if it can be used. In basic terms, fusion energy tries to replicate the reactions that happen in the Sun and other stars to create electricity right here on Earth. There have been plenty of attempts to do this, and they have had some success. The nice thing about fusion is, it doesn't generate waste. There's literally none. It's like nuclear, without all the poisonous rocks. And it produces even more energy than nuclear will ever be able to. Well, it would produce energy if you figure out how to successfully carry it out. Nonetheless, we all have to contribute to making clean and renewable energy accessible and affordable for everyone.